Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Mr. Bothwell and I'm going to take you through the Google Drive today. Right, Google Drive, as the name is suggesting, is a Google um, made platform where we can share the files, save them or keep them for future purposes. So in Google Drive, it is just the same as the, um, the drive of a computer, the C drive of a computer. This is where we keep even our documents for future purposes. But the one thing that you have to know is that when you're using Google Drive for a personal account, um, it has got some limited storage species. While if you're using uh, Google Drive with a business email, it is very, uh, it is unlimited. You will not be limited to the space that you have to use. So quickly, I'm going to just show you how you have to uh, get into Google Drive. The first way I am going to use is whereby if you are using a, a business account, you click here and then you quickly go onto your business account. And when you get into your business account, now it is going to appear here, the profile, right? While uh, I've got my own uh, quick means of getting into Google Drive, I'm going to just uh, use this method of saying you here, you come and just say Google Drive like this, then you click and then cloud storage for work and home, then you, you do that, try Google Drive, go to Google Drive in it. So we have already started going into Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive account, isn't it? Right, the next way that I wanted to show you is, I'm going to go back to the starting point here, is by um, quickly clicking on these nine squares and you will find out that I will have a lot of applications uh, that are supported by Google. So I'm going to quickly click on Drive like this and I'm going to have my home page. But what you are seeing here, uh, it's kind of a priority uh, list. This shows the uh, number, the files that I have been opening frequently, or the ones that I would have opened frequently in the previous days. But this cannot just only come on its own. You need to go into the settings and then um, uh, tick the checkbox I'm going to show you later when I'm going to be talking of the setting box, right? So quickly, I'm going to just show you all these, um, um, what the, what's the meaning of what we have in all these menus that we have here or the tabs that we have in, in Google Drive, isn't it? So the first one, I'm going to talk about this one. Uh, here, if you want to add into your Google Drive a new document or a new file, you come and I click here. If you click here, you're going to see that we have got a folder. Uh, folder. This means you're going to be making a new folder, isn't it? Let's say you want to make a folder about your, maybe your class or your documents, you just click here. And if you click here, you're going to quickly write the name of the folder. Let me say tutorials like this. I'm going to say tutorials and then you click create. If I click create, I'm going to see my folder is going to be here, isn't it? Right. Now I'm going to quickly delete this one. If you want to delete, you just right click. After right clicking, you come here and then you click delete. You'd have deleted it. Right. Now um, you may also want to upload your files instead of creating a folder or a file. Let's say you want to upload any file. I hope you know the difference between a file and a folder in the sense that a folder is like a bag which contains uh, many files in it. A file is made up of a certain uh, type of a software, isn't it? Right, in this case, I'm going to do file upload. If you want to upload a file, you come, let's say I've got this image that I want to upload, then I click here and then click open. Here, it is going to show me that it's now uploading and then it ticks, okay, there's a green tick that we find here is, or, or the green dots, it shows that the file has been uploaded, isn't it? When the file has been uploaded, you will be able to see it down here, isn't it? So it's now an image and it's here in my Google Drive, 
as we speak right now. Right, the next thing is you can also upload a folder. You do the same thing. You go on and look for the folders in your computer, documents, on the desktop. Isn't you find all those uh, folders here and you can upload them and then you will be able to see your folders here. Is it right? Then um, you can also uh, decide to uh, to create um, a Google document. You know, Google document is just like Microsoft Word and the Google Sheets, which are just like Excel. Then you can also create Google Slides, which are just like uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Then Google Forms, these Google Forms are mainly for keys and the questions. Uh, they are very useful in the teaching and learning. Here we also have more. Uh, if you want to upload a Google, the Google Drawings, Google Maps, Google Sites, and a lot of other applications that are there, Google Jamboard. You have to know that if you are a teacher, you may need to make use of Google Jamboard because it helps you to, uh, to be able to, to show or to annotate uh, even if you're teaching online or in a physical classroom. Now, the next thing is let's go to shared, um, let, not, let me go to the priority. Priority is that uh, which I, I had shown you in the first place there. It shows the documents that you have been uh, using or that you have uh, been frequently opening. So initially it does it on its own. So here it has just shown me one of the documents that I've just uploaded. It, it has been put in the priority because it shows what I've been just working on in the recent days or times. Right, then I'm going to go on to my drive my drive and uh, I'm going to show you the arrow that is there. Whenever in computers you see an arrow, it means that there are some things that are there. So here, if I click my drive here, I'm going to see all the folders that are in my drive. So I've got my all these folders that are in my drive. Or the other way is to just click on my drive and then you will see, for, of course, you are going to see the priority drives uh, the, the priority files and then after that you go down and you see uh, the file the folders that we have here after the folders we go down there will be some files that are found in my drive so all these are my uh, my files and folders isn't it but there's something that I want you to look at maybe let me just quickly check and see if I have something like that thank you very much this one can you see that it has got this icon of two people? It means that file was shared with, uh, with other people. So it is easy for you to see which files you have shared with other people. Let me check if I still have some files <coughs> that I shared with other people. Can you see this one? All these ones, I shared them with other people, but I am the owner and the owner is me. And on your drive, usually you see we find out the folders will be on top, then followed by the files. And also we have got the names. The names are arranged either in alphabetical order from A to Z or from Z to A. So this arrow is showing me that it's coming, it's from A to Z. So you can see that this is C, D, F, G, 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 and so forth. It means my, my files and folders are, are, are all arranged in alphabetical order. If I'm going to click here, I'm going to realize that it changes the order. It starts now with the, uh, the, with the Z going to A. So in this case, I've got teaching aids, uh, PPTs, this one, students work, going on and on. Then here, I'm going to see the owner. Who is the owner? Because at times, there are times whereby I can transfer a file from the shared for uh, with me folder to uh, my to my drive, isn't it? And then this is the last modified date, or we sh we see the day when last the file was modified or the folder. Here it shows us the sizes of uh, our files, but mostly it's the files, not this, not the folders that are shown in uh, their sizes, isn't it? So this is how the Google Drive looks like, isn't it? My drive is, is, it looks like. If there's anyone with a question, you can still also come in and ask me.
Right, the next one is I'm going to look at shared with me. On this shared with me, it shows me the, all the files and folders that were shared with me uh, by someone else. It's not me uh, who would have created them. So you can see I've got these people that shared with me. This is the, prior, the quick access is more like the priority again. It shows me the people that, I'm, uh, that have been sharing with me as many documents as possible and the computer quickly picks it up isn't it then we go on to the to the shared documents it's almost the same thing as we were talking uh, before that this now is showing me the documents in terms of um, uh, down there it is showing me in, uh, with uh, in terms of the latest documents isn't it latest documents so these are the latest documents that are uh, the latest files that i have here and then it goes on and on here also the, these are the folders that are shared with me and we are seeing the owners of the folders that are here and also the dates that the folders were shared you can see that shared with me um, usually puts only the latest folders on top and the latest files isn't it you can see that it is uh, all the files and folders are arranged according to the date of sharing, isn't it? So that's how it is like. So share date, you can see here, now it is showing me again from the latest one, or this one is from the, uh, the last ones to be shared. So I've changed the, the order, isn't it? You can see from the 28th of December to the whatever. So it has started with the, um, those documents that were shared last time um, the latest ones are at the bottom right this recent is also very important now it is going to be showing me the recent files and folders the ones that i've opened the ones that i've interacted with then if you want also to put some files and folders on their own you can start them to start them you it means you are going to do that to your most important files and folders isn't it? So these are my files that I felt like I'm, I'm going to be using regularly and then I have to uh, quickly, um, I have to quickly look at them, right? If you look at these files and folders, you see also the same thing on a last modified. I can tell who the person was, the one who was last to see this or to modify this and who created it in the file sizes, isn't it? Then here it's a trash. Trash is going to be showing me all the files and folders that I deleted, isn't it? I'm going to see them here. So these are the files and folders that I deleted. But if I want to, um, if I want to empty them or I want to quickly remove these from my trash, I will go come here and say empty trash. Right, this it, uh, trash uh, shows me only the files and folders that were deleted in uh, in a space of only 30 days. If it goes beyond 30, then it is going to delete them permanently. Right here, it's the storage space that I've been uh, I have used. Here, I've used 617.2 megabytes. It means uh, it's nothing. And if it is Google Workspace or if it is Google Drive, which I would have logged on using this. Uh, an organization's uh, domain in email. It means that I have got unlimited space, isn't it? So the next uh, tutorial that I'm going to be giving you is on how to search. After search, then I'm going to look at some settings that you can do in Google Drive. Thank you very much. I hope you have uh, enjoyed the lesson. And if you enjoyed, please, can you uh, click the subscribe button.